In the past year, we have spent time and money reinvesting in new and innovative ways. Our gift card program put over $5,000 directly into business owners' hands and encouraged shopping locally. Local property owners also invested in rehabbing their buildings and also investing in murals. Investing in the future of our communities took on new meaning in 2020. Main Street programs and community development partners took on enhanced roles to invest financially into local small businesses, brick and mortar projects, and leverage local capacity for economic impact. These transformational investments not only helped bolster the economy during challenging times, they also set the stage for continued investments in physical, economic, and social infrastructure. Over the last year, local community investment strategies focused resources in three primary ways, business grants, building incentives, and creative financial support programs. First, communities across the state mobilized local public and private partners to quickly create local business grant programs to support small business. Grant programs in Charles City, Clarence, Conrad, and other cities leveraged hundreds of thousands of dollars to provide vital funding for business owners. In many cases, these dollars became a lifeline for a business's sustainability. In other cases, local business programs went above and beyond to help support new startups and business expansions in 2020. In Mount Vernon, the City and Community Development Group collaborated with partners to create an emergency pool of funds to support local businesses. By mid-April 2020, over 80 local businesses were supported with $2,500 grants each, which provided an immediate injection of funds at the beginning of the pandemic. As a continued support system, Main Street board members and staff conducted regular phone visits with business owners to provide support, better understand how funds were being used, and determine ongoing needs for the local business community. The second 2020 Community Investment Strategy focused on developing and supporting local building improvement grants to spur continued local property improvement. In many cases, these funding pools were designed to provide mini-grants. The mini-grant approach helped support a great deal of small-scale building improvements in communities across the state, including Jefferson and Centerville. These small-scale grants helped make needed building improvements to business interiors and facades it is also important to remember that 2020's challenges were not limited to just a global pandemic. In many communities, weather wreaked havoc and provided additional levels of devastation. In Marshalltown, downtown was still very much in the process of recovering from the aftermath of a 2018 tornado, coming into 2020's pandemic and derecho storm. Undeterred, the community collaborated to leverage local, state, and federal resources to assist the Regalados family-owned grocery store. Since reopening in November of 2020, Alvarado's Via Tuato has once again been providing a vital service to Marshalltown residents. This project would not have been possible without the collaborative investing efforts of many local partners. Lastly, many communities developed creative solutions to provide financial support of local businesses and restaurants. These efforts oftentimes were made possible through new partnerships and community collaboration. In many cases, supporting small businesses while at the same time strengthening the community's sense of pride, togetherness, and hope. In communities like Ames, Story City, Bloomfield, Coon Rapids, and Osceola, local business sponsors and private donors pooled resources to create gift card programs that helped incentivize residents to shop local and support local small business owners. In Ames alone, this gift card program catalyzed more than $90,000 of additional spending. In Manning, the community utilized a variety of creative strategies to support the local economy throughout 2020. Like Ames and other communities, Main Street Manning created a local investing effort called the Manning Cares Stronger Together gift card program. Over a 34-day period, this program brought 21 business donors together to sponsor over $32,000 of gift cards. $30 gift cards were sold to residents for $20, providing an added incentive to support local. All gift cards were sold and redeemed, creating an estimated local economic impact of nearly $100,000. 
There has never been a more important time for a community to be focused on investing in place-based economic development and small business. While the world is full of unknowns, communities that band together to support each other, support locally owned business, and look to a bright future will thrive. For over three decades, many Iowa communities have committed to utilizing the revitalization of downtown as a catalyst for community revitalization through the Main Street program. In our challenging times, these communities are demonstrating the power of the Main Street approach and its ability to use creative solutions to address challenges of all shapes and sizes. Whether your community has a designated Main Street program or not, the deliberate investment of public and private sources in the principles of creating a vibrant downtown and leveraging unique local assets are critical to strengthening your community's civic, social, physical, and economic foundations. Now is the time to consider how your community is investing in its future through the support of downtown revitalization and small business development.